Alrighty then, so community chamber time. And somebody very special has is back on the workshop. Their name is Rogan. We love their maps. We have four of them. Should we jump into them? Should we see what Rogan's come up with this time? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> the part where he kill. <laughs> Fumbly had already guessed it. <laughs> Fumbly already knew we was going there. Oh wow. Rogan, what have you done? Rogan's already Rogan, he already killed me. Rogan, give me like five frames per second. Don't adjust your sets, guys. This is <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, Conclan just typed a bit like Rogan. Is Conclan Rogan? <gasps> Spoiler alert. You. The part where he kill you. Well, I think Rogan has already killed me with lag. Oh, good, good, good call. Good call. You, you sound very American the last time I spoke to you on there. Uh, um... The last time I spoke to you on um, voice chat, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, Rogan. Rogan's even. You know you say it's the part where he'd kill you. Is that because he's going to come out on all these monitors and just absolutely obliterate me? Oh dear. Gordon Bennett. And I saved him to a death loop. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, Rogan. <laughs> well, so is it, I, I guess that's the map done, right? This this is our life right now. I'll leave with this one for a moment. I'm going to get a drink. GG Rogan. GG Rogan. Oh wow, you press you press no clip. Look, look at that. Oh my goodness, did you see? You question the lag. You question the lag. Oh my goodness, did you see all of those freaking? Did you see all of those pellets? The problem is right because I'm in a death loop. I don't think I can. I can. We got we got to take a look at we we got to take a look at the beauty that is this map right now. We got we got to take a look on uh we got a no clip through here. I mean this 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 is something special. You got to admit. Let's appreciate this. I mean, oh my god, there's even So wait, did they all come out of there? So which ones actually killed me? I don't think it was the ones I expected that killed me. There's even... There's even pallets in the observation room. Oh my goodness, Rogan, you've outdone yourself. I 
I don't think... I don't actually think these ones come up. These, I think Rogan's just added these to increase the, the lag effect. If I'm completely honest. <sighs> GG, Rogan. GG, Rogan. You got me good. Press butt! So we've gone from the part where he kill you to press butt. Ha 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 I think that's meant to be wheat, wheat, Wheatley Crab. What? 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 Kali Crab? Oh, I, I don't know, man. Maybe next time you do some tests, Rogan, um, maybe you can provide us with a dictionary according to Rogan. Okay, that's an interesting design choice, Rogan. Okay, Rogan. So I'm guessing... Oh, this is the thing of beauty. Look at those antlines, guys. I'm in awe of those antlines. Buttons, buttons everywhere. What? There's even buttons in the observation. How does he do it? Like, seriously. How does Rogan do it? I'm like genuinely jealous of his mapping capabilities. It's just... I mean... Oh, would you just take a look at that? I mean, that look, that's a thing of beauty. That is an absolute thing of beauty. I mean, what I will say is I, I think I'm... I think I'm about done. I, I think I'm done here. There's stuff in the dropper. have to no click to see it properly. Oh my good god, Rogan. Rogan. He even comes up with new test elements. Well What a troll. Is this even a death fizzler? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I had to check it. I had to check it. But, um...
Uh, with regards to what you're looking at, maybe you can answer that question for all of us. I, I have to say, I think I think this chamber too difficult for me. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not possible for the mere mortal to solve, but for a man of Rogan's castle, for, or for a person of Rogan's capabilities, it's, 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 it's something good. Did I go restart or did I go to skip? I think I must have gone to restart. Rogan has shut my game server down. The cheek of him. I help. Or is it L help? Or is it I, <laughs> I, he, I. A bit of a running joke with Rogan is um, the use of I's and L's and how some fonts show things in different ways. No, they 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 are L's. Or are they ones? No, they're I don't think they're ones. Rogan's got me confused. I need somebody body to help. Me? Please send. Please send help. Alright, Raygun, help is on its way. have to say I just don't know where he comes up with his ideas how do they do it Seriously, guys, if, if you are not following this guy on the Steam Workshop, you need to go right now. Go find Rogan on the Steam Shop. Steam Workshop. Steam Shop. Steam Workshop. And say, hey, Rogan. And then what you need to do is you need to find the button that says block. There's a massive laser that comes through the lights. Oh, I can walk. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, dear God. Man, even these whirlpools and that and everything. Fall down? Did, did I did I did Rogan put a secret in that and I missed it? I'd be very sad if I missed the secret. Oh boy! Once again, do not adjust your television sets. I don't know what what I don't know what did but it do. Too lag to fix. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I just love to know how he gets this lag effect. You know, this. 
this lag effect is just it is something. Yeah, I feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he's such he's such a talented map maker. I keep referring to Rogan as a as a as a male. I should say they are such a talented map maker that um, it's a real shame to see one of their maps like this in a state that they they're not able to fix. Oh dear God. I think we found the source of the problem. Oh my goodness. Hope you, hope you make good use of your eardrums, guys, because they're gonna be gone right now. Seriously, not like the stand up here. Also, you know, just something going a little bit wrong here. You know, I, I, I don't really know what's causing the lag. I'll be honest. I'd love to, you know, help Rogan out and give some pointers, but I just, I just can't see what's causing the lag. Oh, you know we're gonna press that button. Death is made. Just pour some repulsion gel. I think I've worked out what I think I've worked out Reagan's problem with this map. I think I'm gonna have to uh, send them a message about it. I've worked out what's causing the lag. I've worked it out. I've worked it out, people. I've had an epiphany. And I've worked it out. They haven't connected the buttons up. That's what's causing the lag. Pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure. Portal in the cubes. I love his light strip design there. It's the second second chamber I've seen them use that design. Cubes, but I don't think I can. things. Man, Rogan's got everything. Oh my goodness. Whoa! 
everything's getting a little crazy. Oh my dear god. Hey! We fixed the lag problem! Oh my god, Ro Rogan. Oh, Rogan will be so happy. We fixed the lag problem, guys. Some somebody get get Rogan get Rogan on the phone. Unfortunately, what we haven't fixed is doing anything with these freaking bouncing cubes. Holy jeez. Now that is something. Eardrums or no eardrums, by the end of it, we're going to do it. Dare me to turn on the gel? Are you are you actually crazy? Well, I thought I'd fix Rogan's lag problem, but turns out. there. I do get the impression that there's like more cubes appearing. No! <laughs> we got close! Oh my goodness, we did it! We did it! <sighs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message Rogan and say, 
I think his lag issue can be sorted if he removes the light bridge. Because, you know, once once we turn that light bridge off, everything was sorted. So, um, yeah, I, I think I think totally. I, I think totally that's, um, that's that. So, um, yeah. Okay, so... I have a feeling this map by a certain somebody may be of similar quality. Now, I'm only saying that because I know Sonny can come up with some crazy, crazy ideas. Um, let's just look in the description, though. <laughs> uh, so, this is why is he cube? How? Hint. I don't know. We can't read that because it's a spoiler. Why is he cube? See you later, family. Thanks well, for stopping by. Appreciate it as I always. I we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. Try something. Oh, you are kidding me. Okay. So we are cube. So how does that work exactly, Sonny? I'm guessing only certain... only certain things that will activate them I guess right, that respawns that I see a hoopy um, we need to save all that Do something with that. That doesn't look very friendly, I'll be honest. That was not very friendly at all. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so we can take this cube back. I'm probably going to want both of these over here. Uh, Mike, this one's from Sunny, actually. Sunny often has some uh, quirky ideas. So, assume we're going to want to send this over to here. Actually, we're going to want to swap these, aren't we? So we can actually see. Yes, we're going to want to do that. And then we can just turn off the funnel when it gets to where it needs to get to. I assume I'm always a standard weighted cube or something. OK. 
Okay. Oh, clever. That's clever. Also, big turret in the observation room there. That's a really clever way of getting back over to here. Why do I glitch like what? Oh, I should have left that cube over there. Okay. Not a big issue. Can you turn into a cube while holding a cube? Yes. Although you do throw the cube, so maybe not the best of ideas. see the benefit of doing that at the moment. Oh, no, wait a minute. That totally makes sense, doesn't it? E yes! Okay, so... I'm guessing that's a one-time activation button, so we're going to go down here. I forgot that there's this ledge here. And then we can go to... Send this across first. Transport into a cube. Swap the funnel. Get across here. go through here, press the button. Okay. Now we have that in place. Do that, do that. Pull the ball there. Yes, yeah, go back around, put that in there, swap it to the laser, and then we are kind of done with that. So I'm turning myself into a cube, basically, Mike, is what's, um... Oh, I didn't hit the ball. Let's imagine. I like imagining. We did that. And then we hit... That to there. Save. And continue. <laughs> oh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> maybe this was the real, maybe this was the real, um, and this was the real point of the uh, mind escape mod. 
Maybe we was really a, a an individual that could turn into a cube. Wait, I know this room. Down vote. Reused a portal to chamber to pan past it off as their own. Down vote. Okay. We all know what's going on here. I am now the laser cube. Oh wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what? We're not the only ones who can transform into a cube. <laughs> That was pretty good, Sonny. I like that one. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good job, Sonny. Good job, indeed. Where's my... Uh, where's my YouTube management? Let's get a bit of this going while I'm here. That was a good throwback, actually, to the campaign. <laughs> It's like, what? Chell turned up too early? Ha. Huh. Right, let me just check this on my play maps. I'll just leave a couple of spaces for Rogan's stuff because I haven't got Rogan's stuff on this sheet yet. But that was really cool, Sonny. I like that. Great, um, great ending there to the map. All right, next up we are going to play. Um, let's play a Sears 16's brand new spanking map. Omni, omniscient, Om, omniscient. You all know I'm not good with my pronunciations. As all, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on stream. Hope you are. An easy, medium, difficulty, mono portal puzzle featuring repulsion gel and a reversible puzzle. Fuzzle? Fuzzle? Funnel. This puzzle was salvaged from a larger ideal I had a while ago involving a ceiling faith plate. As it turned out, the ceiling faith plates are incredibly buggy and unreliable. Special thanks to Hugo for playtesting his advice and feedback. Music is used is Ghost of Ratman from Portal 2 Soundtrack. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you think you found anything to sponsor on internet solutions, please let me know ASP and I will fix them because I've already used ASAP. I'm not going to repeat that word. All right, anyway, let's go, shall we? Okay, so not much to do there. We can get back, it seems. That's on a timer. That's our end goal. That's a funnel, which we can't use just yet. And then we're going to want to do some momentuming over to here. Or not, as the case may be. Huh. Gel over there at some point. I 
can't really make much use of that unless we're up the top there. So we'll take that back actually, we can make use of that. Yeah, I think that's um, that's a fair shout, iron smeltery. Okay, so does that disable it or does that turn it off? Okay. So we go through here. I don't think I'm quick enough, but we need to go through here and stand on the button here. Yeah, it didn't react quick enough there. So, uh, back over here. Back over here. Pull ourselves through. Actually, maybe now I've got this. Uh, but no, I need to get back, so... Okay. So that now allows me to get over to there. And in turn, that should allow me to get over to there. Now. Can we get gel into there is the next question. In order to do that, we would need to be able to stand. Let's get a portal in there. Let's see a way that we can disable that right now. But now we do have quick travel over to there and up to here. Pull it back into the funnel put it over to here okay I, I have an idea uh, I need to reverse the funnel first though No, I would need to pull it through there first, wouldn't I? Yeah, pull that through there. Kinda of didn't work. Oh, but you know what would work? Yeah. I tell you what would work. Would would work. So pull a load of this across first. This, this, and this. That would work. So now it's gone over there. We should now be able to do this. And then we can get the cube. Okay, and now we have the cube. You know it's not going to be that simple. But 
what we do have now it's a way to pull that back to there so okay, I think what we need to do then is put a pole here Come back through that portal with the gel ourselves, switch it over, and then we can should be able to fling it across. I say fling it, but so to do that we're gonna need the cube down here. So we're going to do this. Do this. Oh, and then I needed to go back through here. Oh. It's not that clear cut, is it? Because I need the I need the cube to be on there. But I can loop. I can loop the gel here. I can loop the gel here while it's on the blue. Jump back around there and get around to there. So yes, that is what we do. Okay. All right. Take two. I think. It's two, second time. Lucky, right? Okay. We do this. Put on there. Go across to here. Why doesn't the gel loop round? Oh, because the gel would need to be... Okay, I, I think I see. Okay, we can loop it that way instead. And if it's pushed, it'll push itself back into the funnel. Yeah, okay, that's all good. I forgot about that other panel, to be fair. Did we get some coverage? We did. Cube. Do that to there. Bounce through here, and we are out of here. Nice puzzle. The only thing I would say about that one is that the, although I had or I had noticed it, so it's it's not like I hadn't seen it at all. It was just that portal surface being around the corner was um, with it being like a little bit out of sight. It kind of got a little bit forgotten about there in the final solution what I was thinking of doing instead there was not switching the funnel polarity so early and then doing something with it like that but it's all good we managed to sort that out good stuff Sears thank you very much for making um, so next up let's play I know this was requested the last time I played um, Community Chambers and I kind of skipped over it. We're going to play Ghost Train from Hugo B. Designer. Ghost Train. Reminds me of a 
90s kids TV show I used to watch. Um, anyway, enough of that, that. Let's jump into the description. Easy medium difficulty. Here they come to steal my soul. Ghost Train is a map designed by TBF9 in which the theme immovable requires a major puzzle element to be pointed towards a non-portable surface. While the light bridge that takes you to the exit never intersects a portable surface, that's not to say the map is that say this map is so immovable. Thanks to Team Spend for many great additions and improvements towards BMOD. This map features trap platforms with polarity with partial portable surfaces, resulting in a puzzle that's quite literally requires you to put the pieces together. Okay, I can kind of see we're gonna to need to put two together. Interesting. Uh, music is from Harry. Estimate completion five to twenty minutes. Made some minor changes, and then there is a bunch of playthroughs. All right. All right. So cube on there. A companion cube colored cube. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we are literally building our own portal surfaces here. I'm guessing I can see that from the other side here. We're here now. I guess the same is going to happen over here at some point. Second two because I took that relatively early. Don't want to think people that I'm cheating like that. I just delay myself a tiny, teeny bit. And then we can bring it over here, and then we're going to activate the laser and be able to use the laser or the laser. Oh, that moves away. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was kind of talking about there with the coming together bit. So we can get into there. Which is interesting. And I'm going to assume. It's never good to assume, but I'm going to assume. That we're going to want to do this. Cool. Let's give it as our exit criteria. And this will give us a second cube, so we'll stand on here. can jump back over to here to put the second cube. And now we reset this to take us through the fizzler. I think that's it. I think we're done. Awesome concept, Hugo. Awesome, awesome concept indeed. Um, but yeah, when you sort of read about it in the description, that's what I pictured it to be. Um, but yeah. Nice map, Hugo. Nice job indeed. I like that one. So much so. And I add that to my favorites. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alrighty then. What's the time are we out, guys and gals? 
sure we've got time for a few more. Next up, I think I'm going to pick a fumbly bumbly map. Let's go for. One right on the go, Shane, which is called Arteriol. Again, my pronunciations aren't the best. Uh, we might do a, a three, a three fumbly bumbly back to back maps here. It depends how difficult they are. Let's have a quick look. Um, easy medium sprouted from the heart. Please report any exploits, feedback, and such in the comments. Your feedback is appreciated. That's going to bring us across there. Ah, so I was going to say, how do we get started here, Fumbly? That's how we get started. So we'll drop down to here. That gives us a funnel straight away. There's a cube. Now, I could do that and turn that off. Or I could go across there, which would be more advantageous. And then from here, we can go and pick up that cube. That powers us some stairs. wires to take this back for now. I think we're gonna involve a little bit of bootstrapping. But we have a we have a we now have a surface that doesn't rely on a funnel. So we should probably head back in this direction. We're going to have to rely on the portals now to power the funnel. And over here we go. Now we do need to... We do need to somehow though get a portal surface. Which is something we didn't think about. Oh, no it is. We can do this quite easily, actually. So we can drop that down to there, and then we can do that on to there. Let's get, let's get up to here. Isotope. Uh, is that the Sky Ferret map? Or, oh, no, sorry, the, the Mike, Mike and Leo one. That is definitely not the same amount of difficulty. <laughs> I saw in the description, when I add that to my queue, I saw in the description how long it took those guys to do that. That is most definitely not the same. <laughs> Just going to put that out there. Okay, so now we have the funnel bootstrapped. We don't need to worry about that anymore. So with that and that. Thanks, Mika, for stopping by. Appreciate it as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good evening, good sleep. I'm just going to go back and take this cube. Oh, it's been fizzled. That's fine. Okay. I don't need to go that way. I think what's so nice about Fumbly's maps is that they're just so they're so simple. They're so simple, but yet there is the puzzle there. Uh, what? That was bootstrapped. No. Oh. Okay. I guess not. Let's revert. My bad. All right. So now we got that to there. I shot the wrong portal. 
what I meant to do while I was across here was shoot this portal. Now I can get the cube back by doing... I can't get the cube back. Oh, I could have got the cube back. Just ignore the rambling nonsense of a madman here. Could I get the cube back? I'm trying to think. I've done that and that, but... From here, interestingly, Fumbly has made it, so I can he see that. But I can do this. Aha! Then we could take the cube. That is really clever. That is really smart. It's so simple, yet it's such a good puzzle. That was awesome. I mean, what do you say, what do you say about a puzzle like that? Other than, let's go play the next one. Jeez. Um, real talk, though, a minute, Mike. Um, you mentioned um, you mentioned Isotope. Um, it's it's quite a beefy one, isn't it? All right, this is competitor. Easy difficulty is to tie. Is to tie with oneself to mutually win or to mutually lose. Uh, please report any exploits to us. Comment, your feedback is appreciated. I mean, we could do this. I don't think we need to do this, but I think we could probably choose the ramp. And that would still give us enough height there to get where we need to go. Now, pull surfaces. That's not good. That is, though. Okay, and then we're going to do... Yeah, I was sure that I'd seen in the description that it took a ridiculously long time for you and um, for you and Leo to come up with, so... I just wanted to be sure. Alright, that was a cool little map. Nice little map indeed. I think yeah, it was just the jumping, I think, which threw me off that last bit. Um, getting back over to the spawn area. But, uh, yeah. Cool stuff, nonetheless. I really should just paste all of these together. Because as we're playing all three. Uh, that's probably why I didn't. Oh, damn it. Now I've done it. Why do I do why do I do queue management in the middle of a stream? Yeah, now I know why I didn't do it like that. Because the OCD in me, it's the wrong way around. Based on the queue. So well I'll fix that up. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the final one at the minute from Fumbly is called Parcel. And easy to see the package is delicate, so please handle it with care. Alrighty then.
Oh, it's money pool. Okay. That makes sense. So we have... I'm guessing then the answer here will be reverse the funnel to the exit. Yep, that's what we're going to do. It's going to give us a cube. And as soon as we've done that, we're going to want to... Okay, I think we want to do this. Oh, we've done that for safety anyway. Which is okay. Now we can go back over to here. Oh, that's not good. I totally stood in the way of the cube. Have we got a broken keyboard there, Conclan? You had an idea for an advanced remake of this one, Space Kitten? <laughs> advanced remake of Isotope? Mike's like, no. No freaking way. I right, put that there. Head on over to here. Put the cube there. Go back. Go to the middle. Drag it over to the middle. Yeah, I think I think we got this one. Someone's gonna sit nicely there. If we go back. Wait for it to come back here. Uh, excuse me. Should have come out of the funnel. And then we do this. Nice little puzzle there just to show off how, um, how you can kind of like interact with a funnel around a fizzler. And the different polarities. So, um, yeah. As always, a puzzle, but still, still <laughs> nice, simple, and elegant. Um, good job, as always, Fumbly. Uh, I have played some of Fumbly's co-op maps um, as like a single player. I have played some of those. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's look at something a bit older in the queue, shall we? And let's take a look at Graveyard by Steamstream. Oh, is it quite difficult? It's quite a difficult map. Let's just check the description. Puzzle is not for the faint-hearted. Uh, anyway, let's look at... Uh, <laughs> um, what about float? Oh, I'm not saying I'm not going to play it. I'm not saying I'm not going to play it at all. I'm just saying maybe not now because... All right, well, here's a quick one, short and sweet, difficulty easy. Uh, I guess the description will be short too. All right. I just don't want to get anything into, I don't want to get anything into too serious now. It'd be nice if I could just play some like relatively simple maps just to clear down the queue a little bit tonight. Um, so yeah, I've made some good progress on things tonight, which I'm quite happy about. Okay, so how do we disable this? All right. So 
then let's put that there. Oh, that was the wrong pole. <laughs> Such a dumbass sometimes. Most of the time. All the time. Um. Wait, how did I disable that fizzler before? Oh, that was how. On there, okay. Um. I'm guessing there's no way to. Why don't I just put it on the floor? Why am I making this more complicated than it needs to be? Think about this, need a portal there, portal there for the finale, so I can shoot that there, but hold on a minute, that's not going to work because of that. We're going to need a portal there, portal there, we get up onto the portal. So, then, should I have done something different? Because we need the portal there and put there. Just trying to think how we're going to get that across to the bridge to there. Unless we take the bridge first and then we swap the portal after. But how do we do that? I mean, sure, we can walk across here. But then how would we... So this track reminds me of the Talos Principle. I right, know we do this first. Get through here. That gives us that there and that there. Maybe I should hit that. Okay. Let's so point this over to here like this. Then we're going to go back over here. Like this. That's going to drop that. Who have we got raiding? Because it's not popping up. Solid! With the raid of six. Welcome along, buddy. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream tonight? I hope it went well. Okay, so that does that and that does that. So... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, how was the stream, Solid? What was you streaming tonight? I'll probably look at my phone, actually, and probably tell me. Nope, it's not on there. It's gone. <laughs> Paul's been treating me well. We finished up. Um, we finished up on a mod that we started last night called Mind Escape, and now we're just playing through uh, a few community chambers here just to tie us over for the rest of the stream. 
So how do I get across to there? Is the $64 million pound question, as always. Um, so... Point that... Can't really do anything with angles here. Playing Dragoon and made this three nice. I've never, I've never played Legend of Dragoon. Let me start that phrase again. I've never played Legend of Dragoon. Um, there's so many like RPGs from that sort of era that I've not played, and I really feel like I should have played. Um, but uh, no, nice. Is it, is it a three disc game or a four disc game? It's been quite fun. It's always a bonus. So I'm just thinking about my options. Sorry to deviate a minute. I'm just trying to think of my options here. Um, we can do this. But that pretty much isolates us to here. But I, I feel like I need to... I need to be here first. So I can't see anything from there. I can't see the portal surface there. Because I was thinking if the cube was up there, perhaps, we could have placed the portal back on there. But that's not going to happen because there's no way that we can jump across there. That would just be ludicrous. Um, so obviously we have this. So this is like, and I hate freaking lasers and portals and stuff like that. Um, so then we have this scenario. But from here I've got to use the light bridge to get across, right? Oh, you know what? I think I might see something here. Why don't I point this at this? Because then what that'll allow me to do is respawn the laser cube and I'll be able to pick the laser cube up while I am stood on this bridge, right? So we do that, 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 and then we do that. This gives me the cube back. Be careful not to catch that like that. Okay. So that does that and that. Now what do we do? We do this. But we need to... Hold on, before we do this... That is right, because then what we would do, effectively, is we'd have a portal on this surface here. And we could put a portal there. We could come across to here and then swap that to there once we're at the top. I should have got a portal. So I'm just doing this just to demonstrate what I need to do. And then I can get over to here like this, swap the portal to there, and we are done. So the key thing here is we need to get across there, and we need to keep a portal on that surface there. Um, once we've done that, we've worked it out. But yeah, for such a small puzzle, it, it's really neat. It's a really neat puzzle. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I think what we're going to do is this and this. Try not to die on the freaking lasers. And then, well, now that we're here, we can do this to respawn the cube. We can go back across here to do this. That gives us the, yep, that gives us the portal in the right place on the light bridge. Boom across. 
across here, although the cube has shifted. And then that should go across to there. The only criticism I think I have about this, because it's, it's a really good puzzle, this one. But again, it's quite a simple layout. It's quite simple. Um, not too many elements. I would just say the whole laser and light bridge uh, combo um, doesn't really work very well. Uh, OMG plays the game. Yeah, I, I, I am flying. So um, because I play like countless community chambers, um, rather than setting things up sometimes, I'll just chuck on no clip and I'll just quickly go back and set something up. Um, just sort of saves a bit of time. Um, makes it a bit less boring for you guys watching just so you don't have to watch me doing repeating the same thing over and over again because I am quite prone to failing. Um, so yeah, often if you, if you do ever watch uh, any of my me, if you do watch me ever playing Portal, you'll see that I either use flying around a lot or I will change the host, host time scale just so I can run a bit quicker just to um, do things, just to speed up the actual gameplay a bit for you guys. So, uh, But yeah, that was, a, that was a cool map. I just have one little tiny criticism of having the laser on the light bridge is uh, makes it a bit awkward for the player to maneuver around on. But um, other than that, that was a pretty nice map. So good job, Steam Stream. Good job indeed. I think I've probably got time for one more, and then I will probably call the stream for tonight. We've got through uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven serious maps and four four of Rogan. Not saying Rogan's maps aren't serious, of course. Um, and I think I'm probably going to end up on one that I know will be pretty easy, but it'll be nice to look at, and that will be. Um, Skyfrey's latest map, which is called Intrepid. It's not called Isotope. What's going on, Zach Squash? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Deathwish, yes, I could turn off laser cushion. I should really actually bind that to my uh, one of my keys because um, no clipping around does actually turn it off and break it on some maps when it's already turned off. So, um, so this is. As I said, uh, Intrepid, latest Skyfarer map. It's been a while since we had a Skyfarer map. Uh, I fixed a couple of things in this map, but the published tool said there was an error retrieving information in the map would not show up in the list. I had to re-upload the map again after re-uploading. It says something about missing files or something. Well, that isn't a surprise. Give it a try, and hopefully the blue error thing won't be floating around in there during the gameplay. Also, it's best to rely on save points instead of F6. It's got to do with the fire properly restarting if the fire kills the player. I will try not to use F6 then. Uh, all right, so yeah, Skyferret, renowned for some fantastic looking maps, full hammer jobbies, of course. So um, let's let's crack on, shall we? I'm guessing this door's not going to fully open. Let's take this door instead, then, and we'll go through there. So I'm guessing the original description for the map was on the original. Um, I guess in the original description for the map was on the original link. Sorry, that's pretty bad English there from me. Sky Ferret is the best ferret. Damn straight. He get he puts fridges in here and everything. And a toilet, you know? Who doesn't need a toilet in Portal? Let's face it. But no, I've I've always been a massive fan of Sky Ferret. I love Sky Ferret's maps. Like I said, they're not they're not particularly like the most challenging of maps you'll ever play, but um, they are sort of certainly very visually appealing. Uh, I guess we can't do that just yet, so we'll go around to here. Not sure what the purpose of that is at the moment. What's going on in here? Room six. Lazor. Alright, so we can't get through there because that's doing that. We could probably break out here though. Right, do that. And so, is there any other surfaces here we can hit? That is the $64 million pound question, as always. Twitch twins. A portal potty. Yeah, I think that's what we'll call them from now on, Mike. Definitely. 
Hey guys, I need to take the portal party. Why I did that in American accent, I don't know. I apologize if I've offended any Americans out there. Um, Alright, so we've got a cube. Which we can't obtain just yet. Oh, no, we can. Okay. So we have a cube, and I'm guessing we're going to set this up. Set up where? Where might we set this cube up? Skyfair is going to make me eat my own words here, isn't he? Here I am saying, oh yes, Skyfair maps are relatively straightforward, relatively simple, and then we're going to fail miserably. could drop out here. I can get out of here. Okay. That makes perfect sense. So. <laughs> I put on a really bad American accent, Iron Smeltery, and um, I was just apologizing in case anybody was offended by it. but it's fine. And that moves that out of the way, so... We are free to proceed. We probably want that cube, to be fair, if I had to hazard a guess. Uh, looks like we're going to play with some conversion gel. stuff. I'll be honest though, it's quite interesting to see this in Skyfire tomorrow. I didn't expect to see conversion gel. I'm thinking actually I should probably bring the cube over here and we can probably bootstrap this funnel. That would make more sense. And I think I could probably do this as well though. So we'll do that and then we'll go over here. What happens if I press that there? Not a lot. I'll be honest, that was quite disappointing. However, I may be overlooking this because we could just simply go up to here, right? Yeah, we don't need no... Plop. Alright, onwards and onwards. Don't know if there's any Easter eggs in here. Sometimes uh, Skyfair likes to give us some Easter eggs. Uh, we'll go through here. Yeah, we don't want to go through the funnel. Do I want this cube? No, we're going to have to leave the cube because... If we were to take it, we wouldn't be able to use the funnel. So, up we go. Onto the walkway. And onto some more adventures. Deathwish, you around, buddy? I don't know if 
Felby ever found the Easter egg that uh, Kong Clan or Death Wish you around, guys? Can you uh, just deal with that uh, Zed Springfield there? Uh, please do a little delete and a ban, please. Thank you very much. We got some fire. Da, da, da. Thank you. Uh, can you delete the message as well, Deathwish? I don't want to see. Don't particularly want that in my chat. Sorry, Zach Squatch. I'm sorry. You can still be famous. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so there's got to be a pulse surface somewhere that we can see. Or there's a cube we can acquire. I actually made a... I actually made a prototype. Um... When I, because I often mess about with bits and pieces, as you all know. Um, but yeah, I actually made a prototype where um, there was a chair next to some water, and we had to take it around a corridor. And then if you, um, sorry, let me learn to speak. If you threw it in the water, another one would spawn while you was like not looking, and then you'd be like, huh? Like an infinite spawning chair. Just for LB. Hmm. So I wasn't sure if that was right. Clearly it's not. So I need a cube here to extend that portal out before I try and do anything else. There's a button here. Maybe we should go and press it. Noise is kind of weird though, it kind of indicates that there's an error and some you need to do something else. That's why I kind of associate that noise with uh, in Portal 2. <laughs> Port Portal, the, the game where damage means nothing. <laughs> Unless it's into one of the test elements. That's about the only thing that can ever damage you in Portal. Alrighty then, so... There. Hmm. I have a feeling. Right. I have a feeling I was meant to do this a bit differently. I think what I was meant to do was something like this. I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's turning that off. You think it's one of his better puzzles, Deathwish? Well, like, as in, like, puzzle-wise. That's what I wanted to do, but if I even if I got myself like onto this ledge here, what can I do from here? And the answer is not a lot. If I missed the pole surface somewhere. Let's do a quick reset.
Hmm. It requires you to think more than you was expecting. And if it made you think, then it's no hope for me. I think I've I think I've missed something here that I'm meant to be doing. I know that might seem like a really simple thing, a, a really obvious thing to say, but Oh, you donut. You absolute donut. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. How did I miss that? It's like, seriously. Jeez. Alright, well. What we could try and do is simply take the cube, put it on the button, and walk through the fizzler. Rather than trying... Rather than trying to do something completely stupid completely over the top that we really don't need to do. Alright, OMG plays the game. Thanks for hanging by. Oh, thanks for hanging by. Thanks for sticking around, I mean. Sorry. Uh, need to learn to talk. Appreciate it and uh, have some good munching. Happy munching. Alright, so now I'm moving on to blue gel. Nothing really to see back here. And that's one of the things I really like about Skyfair. It's like there's 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 nothing there, but yet you still put that detail in. Which I find really quite nice. Alright, nothing this way, so let's head on over. The other way. A big bounce up to there. Gotcha. I need to use the funnel somehow though. Cube comes from where? Behind us. Deactivates that. Is there some way to reverse the polarity? Always <laughs> comes from my ass and to the left. Such a way with words, Deathwish. Uh, um. Now I may be wrong, but. I'm not so sure that's how gravity works. Yeah, I, I I don't think gel's meant to go up like that. Maybe wrong. <laughs> Jeez. It is a sh okay, well, you know. Who who am I to Who am I to judge? Who am I to complain, Mike? Alright, is there a switch for this to reverse this funnel? There sure is. Would you look at that? So now we need to cube. So I think what I should do is place the cube somewhere, say about here. Stand on this button. Let's say about there. 
That's going to go through the portal. And then we can take it back by doing this. Excellent. Now we can legitimately do Well, I that that's not legitimate, let's face it, let's be honest. What I should have done instead was literally just this. I want to do it properly because clearly there's just an issue with the map there. But what I should have done there is just put the funnel behind it. And do that. Now I want to go back over there, I guess. With a portal up there. And a portal over here. We're going to die. <laughs> well, that wasn't what I expected to happen. Oh, wait a second. So stupid. I should have done that. I should have done this. And I should have done this. Oh my god, what a dumbass. What an actual dumbass. Oh, please do mock me, because that was just, that was pure stupidity. And we have an elevator. Is it going to take us to the surface? Or is it going to take me to another chamber? I always like it when you get a mid-chamber transitional elevator, but unfortunately that is it. No, that was pretty good. Uh, had a few stupid moments in it, granted, but um, yeah, definitely made me think um, nonetheless. So um, yeah, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of today's stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, thank you to uh, Solid for the raid. Really appreciate it. I uh, got through quite a few community chambers tonight, which was nice to clear down that queue because I was I was at 60 before we started this one tonight, and that didn't include the Rogan ones. So um, Yes, that's very uh, good indeed. Uh, I would pass on the love, but unfortunately nobody that I am following is currently streaming. So uh, yeah, all that leaves me to say is thank you very much for watching.